I was very um, ashamed because of the way it developed and I kept it to myself. I suffered alone, I healed alone, um, didn't have a lot of support due to it being HPV and I think there's a stigma and I think more people actually have HPV than they realize. So I stopped being silent and, and started talking more about it because just because I'm immunosuppressed, just because not everybody's immunosuppressed doesn't mean they're at risk. So I guess going through my experience was very, very traumatic in the beginning. But after I got stronger and was able to get over my pride, um, you know, I, I shared it a lot and I was able to, to um, educate a lot of people who know nothing about HPV and what it can do. So I would say I did a lot of suffering during the healing process, but usually with suffering comes some pretty strong people. So I have made it through and I feel like there is nothing a woman can't get through when she goes through something like this, because it, it, you know, it's, it's taking away you know, with breast cancer and cervical cancer and uterus and all those things makes you feel like less of a woman. And it takes a little while to get through that, but you do.